I participated this afternoon in a session where I was able to focus on technology and social media in healthcare. I talked a lot about um, the adoption and implementation of electronic health records across um, the world, um, focusing on areas that are doing it better than others. Um, I predominantly know a lot about American healthcare, and so was able to focus a lot on our efforts to implement and adopt electronic health records, but also have pointed out uh, some of the shortcomings of those electronic health records as far as them not being records that patients necessarily can take with them regardless of where they're receiving services. I was then also able to talk a lot about the, a lot of the new innovation and exciting new technologies that are hitting the markets, things like wearable products and app, particularly social applications where we can be sensitive to and engage with our patients related to health care, health promotion, illness prevention, allowing that technology to help us do a better job of looking after our patients in health care. As we do um, a better job around implementing electronic health records, our patients have the opportunity to engage with us through the patient portals. And so they can report symptoms that they're having from home and we can respond to them by having nurses follow up with them and call them at home to better manage those symptoms before they get more serious. We also, patients have opportunities to ask for medication renewals or request appointments. And whereas before they would often have to call us, it's a much more efficient way for them to connect with the healthcare system to to get better care. I see that the technology can really be leveraged um, to improve patient care. Patients can access us remotely and more easily. They don't necessarily have to get in their car and drive to a doctor's appointment to receive good medical care and to receive advice um, and an opportunity to be actively involved in their patient care. I think perhaps we'll get to a point where eventually where patients won't need to come and visit us for every little thing and they'll actually be able to um, communicate with us through other technological means without having to get in their car and driving across town. A lot of the technologies are quite expensive. Not everybody has a smartphone or a computer in their homes and so we are going to able we're going to have to continue to be able to provide services for patients who do not have the technology and what does that look like? Um, I think the other thing is that for people the technology can be expensive. It's also not as much of a human contact. Some, some patients certainly prefer to talk to us face to face and don't necessarily want to do something online or over, over a telephone but rather would prefer a, a personal face to face appointment.